Hi guys, it's Dear Blogger here, and today I'm going to show you a quick Photoshop trick to make text stand out in your images. Uh, I'm a bit embarrassed that I just learned this, but better late than never, and I think it's going to be really helpful for my blog post images, uh, the centerpiece images on posts, and uh, advertisements that I create, and uh, even things like buttons and thumbnails. So let's take a look. Uh, as usual, if this helps out, it'd be great to uh, hear from you down below in the comments. So I'm going to close this and then basically recreate it. We're going to use Photoshop CS5 because it's typically the most backwards compatible and we're going to do this on a Mac. So pop open an image like that, and the first thing we're going to do is put some text on it. Hit enter. You want to get your text in the right location first, because once we create this background effect, uh, it, it sort of can't be moved. So that looks pretty good for the text. Obviously black on this dark blue would not be very effective. This isn't something we'd publish. But let's make it better. So we want to hold down Command and click on the T right here on this layer. And that'll highlight the text. Now we want to go to Select, Modify, Expand. And once you click Expand, pick a number between 5 and 10 and I'm going to go with 7 and then we'll watch the little uh, selected region uh, jump out at an appropriate amount. Next we want to create a new layer by hitting this button and then this part is really important drag your new layer below the text layer and make sure everything's still selected and then come up here to edit fill uh, now we're going to want to make sure it's on color. Uh, you can select it again and your color palette will open up. And I'm going to choose one of the colors from the image from uh, the Empire State Building way back here. And uh, make sure we get a good one. Um, that looks pretty good. And then I'll just click enter and enter again. Now it's time to deselect the text now that we have our fill. Just hit control D and then with this layer selected we can come up to filter blur and select Gaussian blur and you'll see right away the text blurs out a bit and creates this kind of nice uh, aura of uh, kind of like a majestic uh, heavenly thing almost. So we can choose different uh, blurs. The lower the radius, the more dense your your blur will be. And uh, really just play around. Think something around maybe 3.45 looks good for this one. Click enter and we're all set. We have a nice background effect on our text that will make it stand out. So if you miss anything there, let's do this one more time. I'm going to pop up an island. And uh, this time, let's, let's start in a similar fashion. Grab the text button and write out your text. So the black looks OK here. Um, but uh, there's not a ton of black in the photo. So let's grab some uh, some text that is a color from the photo. Just going to make our text a little bigger. And if you're using this uh, sort of strategy for a thumbnail or a blog post image, you really want to get the text as big as possible. And ideally, uh, your subject or yourself or the person will be in the corner of the screen so that the text can take up a, a dominant proportion. 
that looks better. So again, command, click on the T, and I uh, almost forgot we're going to change the color. So let's go with something like a ocean blue for our text. That's pretty good. Good enough for now. Just click OK. And now command, click modify, expand to seven pixels, new layer, drag the layer below, edit, fill, color, and we'll use a simple white, and then click enter, enter, deselect, and uh, we could actually have the image like this, that's, that's not bad, but let's give it a little bit of blur. Uh, maybe two for this one. And there you go. So you obviously don't have to use this uh, for your text, but now you know how to, and I hope it makes you uh, a little bit more powerful with your, uh, your blog post images. So please make sure to comment uh, if you enjoyed this, and click like real quick. Uh, that's a huge help, and um, I'll see you next time. So there's three things involved in a website. There's three things involved in a website. So there's three things involved in a website and and that makes no sense.